Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve the Windows Defender error message 0x80074.ec. This program is blocked by group policy. For more information, contact your system administrator, followed by error code 0x80074.ec. So, this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match should come back a Reddit sheet editor. Go ahead and right-click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select Yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select File and then Export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set Export Range to All and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you have to do is select File and then Import. And then navigate to the file location. You would locate the file and then you would select Open to open it up. That's how you would restore from a backup. And let's go ahead and jump right into it now that we're ready to begin. So you want to start off by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Same thing for policies. Go ahead and double click on that. Same thing now for Microsoft. And now same thing for Windows Defender. And there should be a real-time protection folder in here. If you need to pause the video and take note of our file path, it's up at the top of the screen. Each backslash is a different sub key that we've gone under to get to this point. And now on the right side, you want to right click on the disable real-time monitoring D word value and select delete and then select yes. And now you will need to close out of here and restart your computer. And now what you want to do is open up the search menu, type in services, best result, check them back with services. Go ahead and open that up and go down to the Windows Security Service and double click on it. Set service status to start, so go ahead and start that. And now select apply and OK. And that should hopefully be about it. So pretty straightforward process, guys. Do a positive to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.